head. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? I don't talk. Hello. Talk. Oh, it is Welcome coming through. Welcome to Jason Hobbs and Hobbs and Friends. <sighs> All right. Don't mind them. I muted them. So. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Gamerhood. I am Mr. Hobbs or GM Hobbs, and I will be your GM today. And we are playing Old School Essentials in our fantastic Old School Essentials traditional campaign called Days of Lincium. I messed up my mic jamming to the sounds earlier, and, uh, it's just really weird now because I can hear everything outside and inside. Wow. Craziness. Oh, yeah. We're using this along with my campaign, Evils of Ilmire, which I don't... Yeah, I just found out how to pronounce sepia. That's correct. Evils of Ilmire by <laughs> Spell Sword Games. It was last week, though, believe it or not. It wasn't just recently. I mean, come on, guys. So, without further ado, let us meet our players and their characters. Looks like you're first, Bird. That's it? That's all you're giving us? That's it? All right, Hawk. Hawk. What the Hawk. Hell? Hawk, introduce yourself and your character. Can you guys? What not are hear you me? doing, Hobbs? <laughs> can you guys not hear can me? Hear? I can I hear, hear you, Hobbs. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he's hearing the music. Doing? All I'm hearing is the gamerhood music at full <laughs> blast. <laughs> I don't have it on anymore, do I? No, we don't have it on anymore. Hawk has some bigger issues, I think. Yes. Jeez Louise, what the fuck, Hobbs? I didn't run it again, dude. That was you. <laughs> no well, one else heard me? it. No one else heard Twitch? it. You have Twitch up, Hawk? No. Oh. <laughs> some weird <laughs> shit going on over there, dude. What the fuck, man? Jeez. I didn't do anything. No. So birds talking and all of a sudden... <laughs> 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 it was so freaking loud. I didn't Jeez. do it. You did it. Oh, my God. Did you guys keep... Did everybody introduce themselves? We're on you. We're That's what we were trying you. to do, dude. We're yelling at you to talk. And you're like, I, Jesus, I, Hobbs, it you're was, yelling at me. It was deafening. It was so loud. <laughs> All right. So, apparently, I'm Hawk. And I am playing Fast Sequoy, the greatest fighter who's ever come out of whatever region I'm from, which I kind of forget. This is my seventh character in this campaign. I'm expecting by the end of the day, <laughs> there will probably be an eighth character involved. <laughs> does seem to be the pattern. <laughs> oh, God, is he done? <laughs> I, I started laughing as soon as he goes, this is my seventh character. <laughs> Sean. Hey, I'm Sean from Gaming and BS uh, Tabletop RPG oh, Podcast. I'll be playing Ruxus Hammersmith, the dwarf. Urgh. He's a smiling dwarf, happy dwarf, not grumpy or grumbling. Man, Sean is taking this really seriously. It must be after that game yesterday where everyone showed him up. Aaron, we ended up with you, buddy. <laughs> That's right. So I am Aaron, and I am playing Thelonious the Wizard. I am uh, mighty, 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 you know. When I have spells like the boss stones, awesome. So, since we're on you, Aaron, why don't you go ahead and set the scene for the game and tell us what happened last time? I will do so. So, last time on Days of Lincium, the group arrived at the far side of Misty Lake, and as they looked for a place to camp, Thelonious spied something at the edge of the lake. As they moved closer, it became clear that the damaged that a damaged fishing boat was beached on shore, and a body was floating just beyond it in the murky water. Hoven Blast Nightwalker moved forward to investigate the body. As he pulled it, pulled it towards the shore, a group of fishermen rose up out of the water and attacked. Hoven Blast, taken by surprise, was caught in the brunt of the initial attack and fell under its ferocity. The rest of the group formed a phalanx and prepared for the attack. Thelonious, bereft of spells, that's already come up, from the prior session's battle and woefully inadequate with a dagger, sounded the horn of the bullwind, frightening away some of the attackers. 
Of those who remained, Ruxus the Dwarf took out two with his tractus blade, while Cedric the Cleric dispatched a third. In the face of this fearsome response, the rest of the fishermen fled. Danger averted, Cedric turned his attention to Hovenblast, but alas, the Nightwalker would walk no more. As the group searched the bodies of their aquatic attackers, an impressively handsome young man emerged from the boat. He introduced himself as Fasikoi, a warrior from the regiment attached to the Prefect of Lincium, sent to investigate events in the area. Because he was so very pretty, and given the fact that the group was now down a member, Fasikoi was in invited to join. Warriors need to rest and magic users need to recharge, and the team had been through a lot. They decided to camp for the night with plans to enter the lake and search for the lair of the fishmen the following morning. Unfortunately, the following morning had different ideas as a thunderstorm rolled across the area, dropping bolts of lightning onto the surface of the lake. Electrocution not being on the list of group goals, they decided to wait it out. Ruxus, exercising his dwarven skills, guided the group in building a lean-to from the damaged boat, and the group huddled up and rode out the storm. The weather cleared by the following morning, and the group rubbed the gill lube on, supplied by the mighty Rigdorf, the lumberjack, and walked beneath the waves. It was dark under the surface, but Cedric had cleverly cast a light spell on his lantern, illuminating the murk. Unfortunately, all the light in the world was not enough to help the group find the fishmen. It was enough, however, to find a giant sturgeon, and when hiding uh, proved ineffective, a magic missile was fired and a trident was slashed with little effect. Cedric, wielding a light spell, blinded the great fish, and with it disabled, the group decided discretion was the better part of valor and bravely ran away. With a night's rest in hopes that, it, that the giant sturgeon would stick to a small hunting area, the group lubed up again and went under. The luck was better the second time around, and the group found an underwater cavern. Picking their way through the dense accumulations of kelp, they find their way to a cavern with, with an air-filled chamber. Unfortunately, the gill lube had not yet worn off, so they decided to explore more until it did. Best laid plans. As they return to the cavern, they are attacked by a giant caiman, and that's where the session ends. But it's a pretty sure thing that all of the group are about to be swearing off fish going forward. The group is now Cedric the Cleric and Jorn his henchman, Ruxus the Dwarf, Fasike the Pretty, now Fasike the Warrior, Anthelonius the Wizard, and Medcox the Insubordinate Hireling. And now we begin. All right. Medcox <laughs> insubordinate? It seems like he follows orders. What happened there that you gave him that name? I told him to go check out the body floating in the in the lake, and he just blew me off. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. One time a yep. guy I does. Jeez. I know. Well, I, I, had a, I had a canned his ass, but we clearly need him. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So as previously mentioned, we ended the last session on a cliffhanger as an albino came and tail whipping back and forth, comes rushing towards the group. Uh, Maw agape. So, you know what to do? Let's roll for initiative. Who's first? Let's start with <coughs> Hawk Fasakoy. Right. Ba boom! Well, at least you're pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to roll as well, right? Indeed. You just, just type a R slash one. What? He That's just, what you. I said he can do a slash R space one. Oh, instead of the D6, just one? Yeah. Give us a chance. All <laughs> right. Yeah, you can change up the rules there, Habs. I could, but that'd be silly. All right. <laughs> what does nope. number eight look like? What does that even mean? You're on number seven, right? I was just curious what number eight was going to look oh. like. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it a couple hours and we'll find out. <laughs> or ten minutes. Or a couple minutes. I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, this could, this could be the end. I should have looked this up, but I've lost this guy. I don't know what his stats are. Where do you think it would be, guys? I'm pretty sure he's got There's one hit point and he can barely hit anything. Monsters. Found it. All right, yeah. So your, mic, comes... your mic is off, Sean. How long you been talking to us? 
<laughs> He's still there. He goes for a while. Oh, you're probably wondering why we were ignoring you, huh? He had all this commentary. All right, looks like you three people are in front. Sure. And it looks like it's Cedric. He goes for off the edge of this kelp. Goes swimming up. So that doesn't scare you too much. He only gets a plus one. What's your AC, Cedric? Again, that's close. That's it. Oh, right on. Just the right water. On. The underwater oh, boom. slowness forces Cedric to bring his shield up too slowly as the maw clenches down on him. It's a lot of maws. Oh. It's mawful. Oh. Six points of damage. I'm using my computer mic. All right. And this is when you hear another splash, and you can see some bubbles oh, shift up from behind on. it. <clears throat> All right, what are you guys going to do? Who's up? I mean, Cedric, Medcox, Vasakoy, you're all right there. I'm I'm, tur I'm, looking at the other characters to see if this is a runaway situation. My uh, long lineage of uh, characters always make <laughs> bad decisions in these situations. So I'm going <laughs> to... I want to see what... I I'm don't know how be. fast we can walk away in water. Right, that's the, so that's you're the saying problem. So you attack? He is. Yeah. They can swim. Attack it is. That is a hit, sir. Oh, no. You need a 14. Oh, come on. All right, here. I'll give you an opportunity. You can permanently burn a point of strength to hit. What the hell? Why would I do that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, nice, Roxas. All right, I guess that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So permanently burn a point of strength. That's idiotic. Unless you die here, <laughs> then you, you <laughs> might have been a good idea. Jeez, you don't have to be an asshole about it. Oh, All right, Ruxus, what happens to this thing when you bury the uh, Tactris Tactris to Tractus to Tractus to Tractus blade into this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I hit it so hard, I I have to take my foot and step on on top of its maw and pull out with both hands my sword so and like wiggle it around you did the opposite of sword in the stone you shoved it, it in there yeah. <laughs> forcing the caiman's head to be stuck against the uh, cavern floor, underwater floor and then jerk it out as a red mist fills the area other than Cedric's red mist I mean all right, so uh, who's up? Well, so we've got something bubbling up from behind it, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, you're the one up, Lawrence. All right, well, I'm, I'm prepared to cast. Can we see the thing? I mean, I, I can see it a little bit in the distance. Yeah, you can see it if you that, can see it. Me, me see it. All right, I'm, I'm firing a magic missile at that guy. Do it. All right, so... So that's a five. D6 right. plus one. Five. So why don't you uh, explain what happens? Oh yeah. So you know you got the, the casting in front of the in front of the body. The arms go out, and then the magic missile leaps from the middle of that, and uh, they kind of swirl through the water. Bubbles trailing behind them as they go. Seems like it's a little different than usual. We got an upgrade on the magic missile. Nice. All right, it slams into the maw of the caiman, and it, like, swallows it. <laughs> Tongue <laughs> lashing out over top. Tictanic membranes flickering <laughs> as it comes forward. Maybe. Let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All righty, let's roll for initiative.
Who's next? Hawk lost. Uh, yep. Who's next on the bottom here at the stream? Sean. You guys are fast. So uh, the Cayman source the, starts to kind of float and just kind of shift away as the other one rushes forward. Didn't know they hunted, hunted in packs. A two, so oh, yeah. Ruxus moves forward, still glancing back, blood just kind of welling off of the Tictractus blade. Oh, you put it in two-handed, so that means you're not using your shield? I don't think he yeah. has a shield. Yeah, I don't think I have one. Misses. You guys can go ahead. AC5, so you need a, you need a 14. Ow. Looks like yes. Russix, uh, Ruxix hits. Russix? Russix? Russix sack. The old Ruxix. I missed. Medcox missed. All righty. But the blast from Ruxix actually finishes off the other Cayman with uh, it's still smoldering from uh, the damage from the Unibeam. This guy is a killing machine. Yeah, right. Ruxix is pretty awesome. Finishes them off. Now what are you guys going to do? Steaks. Make some boots. <laughs> Came in purse. Skin boots. Well, let's stick with the original plan. Which was right, to we would... explore until our gillyweed runs out, and then we'll uh, come back to the upper shelf here. Yes, wasn't that our plan? That was. You're, you yeah, are correct. Yeah, hours worth of time, I guess, or something like All that, right. right? So we're going back this direction. What's forward? We're just. This, uh, is, this is the like, the um, off water area, which we yeah. can't go to right now. Why can't we? Because we, we got gills. Have... Yeah, we're in the water area. It's above water. The, the right so what? so in the one direction we found a chamber right that has uh that has open air in it yeah that's this direction on the map that's south down. right south yeah right yeah so i i move this direction let's go back into the water part we're swinging back around to explore the rest of it right i oh, think I sean sean was, was asking what was backwards that's why there was confusion oh, oh, oh. sorry i didn't hear that Right, Sean? I guess I got, I guess, yes, I guess I got Sean's mic too low. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dudes. Oh, I should have put the music on loop. Thelonious, don't be left behind. You know, I'm trying to have a little trouble getting things to move around here for me. There we go. I hate it when that happens. Came from the west, is that correct? Didn't we come from the west? You did. Oh, right there, yeah. Want to go back that way and swing around, or do we want to look north? I say go north. Right, north it is. North to Alaska. The rush is on. That's correct. <laughs> Do 
feels appropriately spooky, doesn't it? It does. Super spooky. So. Do we want to follow the... Well, I guess there's a wall on either side. We're not tunnel, so I was going to say do we want to follow the wall, but Ah, I think I got stuck <laughs> <laughs> You're part of the mountain now, buddy So we're in an underwater, you know, obviously a piece of fish, small fish float or fly, you know, flit around schools of fish, see you, and then they move away. There's lots of kelp all around, and Thelonious is still slowed by uh, the hanging kelp that he's gotten all over him. Magic missile didn't burn that off, huh? Nope, sorry. <laughs> So you seem to be moving into a wider chamber or a fork in the area. South or east? Go south. So as you guys move down there, let's see, where are we? All right, yeah, you can keep going, sorry. So uh, as Ruxus moves into that area, what he thought was originally kelp, it actually appears to be eels. And as he moves into that area, the, co the they frenzy around and an electrical shock is created. <laughs> Roll a saving throw versus a breath weapon. It's a whole swarm of these versus eels. Network paralysis? No, it's breath weapon. Oh, you made it, nice. Yes. So this wave of energy so you take three points of damage as the eels whoosh, swarm and then they kind of filter away. But where they were, you spot a huge clam. Ooh. It's going to be a pearl, boys. Wouldn't that be in an oyster? So what are you guys going to do? Get some vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> some vinegar and some crackers. <laughs> some black pepper. We are in business. Some hot sauce. So giant like... <laughs> giant like giant giant or what are we talking? Giant clam. Huge. Like to me... It, to me, a giant clam would be a foot wide. This might be a little bigger than that. So, like the size of a basketball, but obviously flat and clam shaped. I 
chance of a basketball. Well, I feel like he wouldn't have brought it up if we didn't want to. <laughs> if we didn't want to get the pearl out of it. Well, it's just there. I don't care what you do with it. What you say? Somebody want to? It's it's closed. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody want to stick a, sword, a blade in its in its? Uh... Yeah, I stick the uh, Tetrexus blade in there. Open up. You find a large pearl. Whoa. <laughs> White. Sure. Or black. Whoa! Oh, That's worth a couple coins. That is a pearl. <laughs> you thought I was lying Jeep. to you? Ruxus, roll a d6. Fasakoi, you can as well. All right, so both of you, as you as you watch Roxas use the Tractus blade to open this, it looks like the uh, waving kelp shifts, and you can see a small passage over here. I am a sucker for hidden passages. You gonna go in there? I am. Let's bring over some fire, or what, however it is we're illuminating. Hold this thing. Excellent. I thought maybe we were going to have to have a fight with that clam, but I guess that's not how this works. <laughs> is there a value on the pearl? It's 600 gold pieces. I put it in the chat. Oh, okay. So as this sweeps around to the right, you can see that it feels like it's kind of descending as it goes. Are we missing somebody? There we ah, Thelonious. Well. The Thelonious is covered in kelp. He is slowed. He can't seem to move as quickly as the rest of you. Are you guys heading down there all the way? Because we're going to switch to a different map, if so. Hold it. Don't move anymore. Sure. Go back. Nice timing on that music. Like that. Where the fuck is this? Okay. So you guys kind of follow it around. It kind of swerves, but it continues to go relatively downward. I don't know why it didn't keep going. It's supposed to loop. Loop. Oh, there we go. Steps. Here they are, Sean. Or, uh, Aaron. Yeah, it looks like Steps. there's an area to move up there to get up in a beyond out of the water and into an air filled oh. chamber. Probably the same chamber. 
Well, this one doesn't have caimans like the other one did. Oh, well, we didn't find out until we started moving away, so... Roxas, are you going to climb up there? Yeah. Have a look around. So in the corner, he can see, uh, well, he'd have to take a light. Are you going to go up there and are you going to get the lantern from Thelonious or, or from Jared? Oh, a whole group of people are climbing up. All right. So the, where, where it looks funny down there is because this is the backside of a secret chamber. In that southwest corner, there is a stairs leading down. And over here, you see a fairly large, mossy chest. It's a wooden chest, you know, uh, partially covered in moss. It's bindings made of brass or something, and uh, they're have covered in vertigris. Somebody want to check out that chest over there in the corner? <laughs> I would volunteer. All right, Fasakoi, you go over there or no? Yeah, sure. Here. All right, what are you going to do? Yep, what are you going to do with it? Uh, Just see if I can... Uh, I don't know if I have any innate abilities to notice traps or anything like that, but... Anyone can do anything. Well, then I'm definitely going to see if I notice any sort of trap. Dwarves are better. <laughs> what? Dwarves are better. <laughs> so Fasakoi puts lays down his trident and kind of moves his hands over it looking for anything. You don't think you see any traps. In fact, it just looks like an old chest. All right, so I'll take my dagger and see if I can flip open the lid. All right, you flip open the lid. And it appears to be full of treasures. Well, I don't like the way he said appears to be. It's a mimic. <laughs> it's a mimic. <laughs> you see piles of coin, uh, including lots of gold. Um, there's a few gems in there. Diamonds, you can see amidst these coins. Two of them and a couple scroll cases. Ooh. Scroll cases are good. So one scroll mm. case and a hard beaten copper ring with a symbol on it. So it's a copper ring, but you know it's got like a flat area which would go to the front usually. And on that, on the front of that ring is a symbol. Oh, you're Keldorn. So it's like probably a Keldorn. Uh, you're from. Uh, why don't you make an intelligence check? Fail. Yeah, it just looks like some dumb rune on some dumb mm -hmm. old copper ring. <laughs> hey guys, look at this ring. It's got some yeah. sort of rune on it. Anybody recognize that rune? Uh, Thelonious is Keldorn. Yeah, so um, you don't think it's Keldorn. It's something older, but you've seen it before. It's a rune for the elemental uh, water. Well, that makes sense. Makes sense. Maybe it's it's actually like a mixture of water and air. Sorry. Oh, nice. Nice. So it's uh. Breathing. Who wants to try it? I'll try it. So I'm gonna put that ring on. So even encumbered with the kelp, you feel like you can easily move through the water now. Nice. And now is the chamber that we're in, is it this where we're at right now? Air filled? Yeah, we're going to have to go back into the water because we're going to start Yeah, it's out air filled. Breath. It's a ring of freedom. So you can move through water or like 
quagmires or almost anything else fairly easily. You know, just like normal. Like I think free action is what it was called in D and D, A D and D. Yeah. So it is like twenty six fifty GP in here, and two diamonds each worth a hundred gold. We are making out like bandits here. Indeed. Well, if we can get it out of here. And like right where Ruxus is, there's stairs leading down and it looks like uh, there's a stone blocking it, but it's obviously like a secret passage. You're on the backside of the secret though. I said since we're all nice and hidden away, we just hide here until our kelp we runs off and then hop out. And I, I'm okay with that plan. Yeah, that seems... Why don't we have, while we're waiting here, why don't we have a gander at the scroll? Yeah. It's a scroll of water breathing. Breathe for mage. How D and D ish. Um, hmm. Roll a D six. One two three four. It is mage. Five six priest. Trying to see if it's in one or the other. It looks like a mage spell because I don't see it in the priest. It may not even be in this book because it, it may not even be. It's it's in the mage. It's a level three spell, mage. All right, perfect. So, oh. so go ahead, Thonius. All right, so scroll of water, scroll of water breathing. Yep. And uh, I'm just putting it on my list here. So I'll take that. All right, we're going to hang out until our, our uh, gill lube wears off, huh? Yeah. Do the I'm scroll not sure if water we should breathing. keep calling it uh, gill lube, though. Somehow that makes me uncomfortable. Gill pasties? All right. Um, do we know? Can I, as I'm looking at the scroll, can I tell the properties of it? By which I mean, you know, um, duration, or is it? And is it yeah, just the you cast can look it up. It's just, gonna, it's just going to be water breathing. You could look it right up on the. Uh, it's duration is like a day. You could look it up on the OSC range. book in the OSC uh, SRD. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. So you guys wait here. Um, I don't remember what the duration was, but it seems like a little while. Is there anything you guys wanted to do while you were here, or? D1 effect there for your air, and it does not alter your ability to breathe air. Cool. And you can also like scribe the scroll into your spell book, so you'd be able to cast it in the future, if you'd like. Yeah. When you get that level, Excellent. and I don't know what spell level it is, third you said? Yeah, so that'd be a fifth, when he gets fifth level, he can do that. Yeah, if you can wait that long. <laughs> All right, so you guys are just going to kind of quietly hang in there, breathing water dripping off of you as you slowly dry, eating, you know, the rations with you. Some uh, Slim Jims and uh, saltwater potato chips. Probably Fishers. Snap to a Slim Jim. Uh, Ruxus, while you're down there, you can kind of hear occasionally, like, voices but they're not human voices well we have to be in the water we can't be on this platform oh well, that's true but occasionally maybe you went up there and did it or maybe it didn't take very long and you're dry anyway when you guys done dry yeah. done with the thing you come up here you can no longer breathe okay. water you hear voices on the other side like what do you say Oh, not ra 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 ra, cho cho cho. 
I know what that I means. Think I think that's what he said. Oh, man. <laughs> Might be in a lot of trouble. Let me let everybody know. Time. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I hear something up there. <laughs> so it's down there. It's a stair that leads down. I hear wall. something down there. It's blib dual ploop. Mm. We must You're be all about DCC cautious. today, aren't you? Oh, is that DCC? I think they, they use that god, but it's also what, the god of the Kotoa or something? Yeah, I remember that from back in the 80s. Because that was the one Terry could not pronounce for the life of him. <laughs> it cracked me up every time he tried to say it. <laughs> You're not nice, man. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was just hilarious. Like, he would introduce letters that weren't even in the name, so I don't even know where he was coming up with the name. All right, sorry. It's all right. Just brought back some fond memories. Well, sometimes that's why some of us play these games, is for the nostalgia. That's right. That's right. All right, so what's our plan? We just gonna sit here listening to Uchar, whatever they said. And then you know, after a few moments, it seems to uh, trail off and quiet. I'm just gonna back they're... away. I don't like to be by doors, you know. I think they're gone. Can you go forward. I think we need to. We need to kind of. Carefully scout ahead, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, Ruxus, you easily, as a dwarf, can figure out how, how this door opens. Okay. Are you just gonna open it? <laughs> I am. All right. Crack it, man! Don't don't uh, don't swing it broad. As loudly as possible. All right. So you can, you think you could just crack it open if you, if, uh, if you wanted to, that is a possibility. I'll crack it open. I will crack it open and look in. Oh, you know what? There should probably be light in here. Let me give you some light. There would be light in here. Let there be light. So you, now that you open it, you can hear more voices, and you can just kind of creep here. Maybe I should do this instead. I'll give you a little tibby. Oh, what the hell? What am I doing? Hobbs, you son of a biscuit. Alrighty. There's a, just a crack, but I'm going to add some light in here. Jesus Christ, I am kind of struggling. I'm struggling here, boys. It's early Sunday mornings, man. <sighs> My favorite. Fishmen, fishmen. Roly poly fishmen. Fish. Eat them up. Yeah, you seem to have, like, found their inner sanctum of some sort. A fishman. They've got the blood of Hoven Blast still on their blades. How does that make you feel, huh? Ah, Fasikoy, he doesn't give a shit about Hoven Blast. Didn't even know the guy. True. <laughs> We have the opportunity for a surprise attack. Who's got uh, distance weapons? I mean, I've got I've got two magic missiles here. Uh, I believe oh, I have a uh, I have a bow. <laughs> I 
forget what the penalties were for shooting bows underwater. It's probably we're not underwater anymore. We're not underwater. It's well, an air filled right, chamber. I completely forgot that already. This is awesome. Should, Should I, I not have got, underwater got sound going? Too. Does that make it confusing? No, no, no. I just kind of forgot that we came out of the water. Oh, oh and I'm going to check the horn of the bullwind here and uh, uh, shake it out to make quietly shake it out to make sure it's not full of water. <laughs> okay. So I got that ready to go too. It doesn't turn into the horn of the bull spit. What I'm saying, Cedric, you've got a sling. Yep. Man, Thelonious, you should just like run in that door, blast that horn. What is it? A fifty foot? Ten, span ten on that foot. Thing? They got to be a lot ten closer. Foot, ten foot. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking it was fifty foot. Okay, I'm just I'm ready for when they for when they advance, but gotcha. gotcha we should gotcha. we should probably. Uh, I mean, and this is where we're whispering quietly amongst our Since each it's other. Since it's kind of lifting there pretty easy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have Jordan close up the lantern. Good call. So, do we want to... Um, I mean, if, if, uh, if we stay... Even if we open the door and we attack from here, if we stay in this space, uh, they, they'd have to narrow to, to come through the doorway. It's actually not a bad place to start the fight from. A defensive posture, eh? Well, I mean, I didn't, didn't stay in the military, but I did learn a thing or two. that plan, I could put a sneak attack arrow into one of these dudes. Is that too loud? Yeah, it's way too loud. I turn. Is that, that's from in the... That's perfecto. Mwah! Roll 20, yeah, it's in roll 20. You can change it. Everyone can change yes, it. Yes, I turn my volume down in there. Alright, are, are we, uh, are we in agreement on the, the plan, or... I am. I'm in total agreement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to fire the, the this dude over here. I'm going to fire a magic missile at him through the, oh, through the crack right. in the door. So let's... Why did it go twice? Say 2d6? No, I, I just, I don't know. I must have double tapped it. Double tapped? I prefer the four, obviously. What's the first roll? So you get the four. And then it's plus one. For damage. Which, which person? Person. Um, the, the... This one. This one? Thank right. you. He staggers back. He seems like he's talking. There's a couple people lolling in one of these things. It looks like that this must be like their inner sanctum where they all hang out or something. And he's like, Whoa, they all like, blah, 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 blah. And they look around. What do you guys instantly do after that? Is someone firing an arrow? You can't fire an arrow through that little hole, Fax. Sorry, Fax. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's no, right. you've got to kick the door open from there. I think. You opening the door the rest of the way, Ruxus? Yeah. All right. Ruxus opens the door the rest of the way. You can see there's quite a few of these fishmen in here. So they are going to take, oh, two rounds to get. You guys have two more rounds of actions. What are you going to do? All right. So can I, like, move to, like, I'm, I'm just going to temporarily leave this guy here. But can I move to here and fire an arrow? Or is that too far? Oh, yeah, for sure. Go ahead. All right. See, I'd, I'd think you'd want to stay in the stairwell, but... No, no, no one's listening to you. Well, Obviously. right, but I mean, we can always retreat, but if we got two rounds of action, let's get some arrows right. into these bastards, then we can back up. 
Like, take this, you swine. <laughs> Swing and a miss. That's a plus one you get at that point, but still a miss. It's off the, off the ceiling. <laughs> Ruxus, are you attacking? So that's a big thing that you're standing right next to. That's a stalagmite that's coming out of the ground, so you probably can't stand right on top of it like that. Go ahead. Okay. Anyone else moving? No one else is there. moving. All right. Did you attack, Ruxus? A natural one. Wow. Not with the tetractus blade. So, All right. go ahead. Short range is what? Plus one, plus one. two? Plus one, short. <laughs> oh, we got a one and then a natural 20. Who'd you, who'd you sling at? Same one he put the magic missile into. All right, this guy's still smoking from the magic missile of Felonius, the mighty, mighty Boston. He falls with the sling. Go crack. All right, I'm going to put the bow. bow. Cover, cover my side. Yeah, from Jord. Oh, okay. So Jord, he's above this area, so he can't really fire a bow from up there. He'd have to come down. Okay, then he, I'd have him move in. That finer is so he's like on more. stair. He's on a stairwell then, so he's gonna have to come out. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. All right, that's fine. Because um, I would wanted to protect him. Who do, who are you shooting at? This one. All right. All right. So oof, an arrow slaps into him, but he is not down. All right, so that was the first round. Round two. Is anyone else moving? I'll Missiles. be able to retreat no. back. Oh, if you want yeah, to move, I'm then gonna, I can't. Can I move to there and then arrow this guy? Sure. This guy. Probably this guy. should be up here instead, but because you see how the floor right. is like that, you'd be like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah unless yeah. you're trying to just like co get cover from it, then you can just stay back here and arrow him if you want it. No. All right, if I can shoot from there, that that'd yeah, that's great. right. Okay. All right, take this, you swine. He's not really a swine; he's a fish man. <laughs> take this, you fish. You sturgeon, you sturgeon bait. Sturgeon bait. Slimy. All right. Anyone else missling, Cedric? I'll be magic at get some point here. Distance. Go ahead, Thelonious. All right, so uh, they've got the guys in front, so I'm going to magic missile uh, that guy. So you're, like, uh, down on your hands and knees casting, and you're shooting because, like, you're above, right, and there's a stairwell down to where they are mm -hmm. firing at him. That's fine. Go ahead. How much you doing? Roll an 11. Three plus one. Four points. All right, I think it is a Malay skis. We need more tens and lovens, right? Yes. <laughs> they are AC uh, six, so you need a thirteen. Ruxus? I guess, uh... I attack. You must pay. If I can only get to my character sheet. It's happening. Do the thing. You gotta do his thing? With his thing? That's correct. Wow, look at that In damage hell, around you. You didn't get a hit, but look at that damage. All right, yeah, so you missed again. All right, so now it is time for initiative. I think it might be Thelonious' turn. All right. Not sure. Ooh, four, yep. that's good. Oops, I rolled a d20, sorry. 
<laughs> you guys didn't have a, a chance. Can't beat an 18. That's unfair. <laughs> a two. All right, another All round right. for you guys. All right, I'm going to arrow this same guy I arrowed last time. Oh, just a bit outside. I, if you lose a point of dex, you can hit him this round. <laughs> such, such an offer he's given you today. Yeah. What a nice it's guy. Not worth it. I need some combat music, you guys. All right. All right. Med, Medcax is going to go up and, and join uh, Ruxus here. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And that was for Medcock, so he's uh, terribly inaccurate. What type of armor is Medcock wearing? Uh, that's a good question. Because I can't get up there in chain. Yeah, chain mail. You're saying that's too far for him to travel? Yeah, I can only go four. Well, and he was beside you, so that'd be one, two, three, four. Well, let me put him oh. right here. Me. So there's water. That that train moving over the water will take another extra move. Well, I want one, two, three, four. I'm talking about Medcox. Okay. So if you I just travel we right in the air water, chamber. We are, but there's pools of water. You see them, you walk. Oh, over I, it. I see. Yeah. <laughs> they go I down. See what you're saying. Yeah. So you could get halfway around it or whatever if you wanted. All right, we are we done? You guys done? Didn't we already go through the movement? Oh, this is the next round. All right, anyone else yeah. moving? Is that too loud? Nope. No, it's fine. I got my turn. That's fine for me. Um, that's it for me. All right. So what is uh, missiles? What are missiles, he said? <laughs> yeah. Foss? Oh, I thought we went. This is that yeah. we won this if we went, but I was trying to move um, Cedric because oh. he wasn't engaged in missile. Oh, you guys did already. Missile, missile. So yeah. you should have moved yeah. in the movement phase before missiles. Jesus. <laughs> Four M's, bird. God. I think we should fall into a different scene and jump into a diatribe about the 4Ms. Come on, man. First, it's M. Second, it's M. Third, M. Fourth, M. So third M only happens if you declare M. That's right. So let's uh, let, let's let's get this let this let's get this going. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it's just difficult to deal with players, and uh, you just have to really show them what's happening and put them in their can't place. Keep the, can't keep the four M straight. All right, back to the game. I, I feel duly scolded. All right, good. <laughs> it was just a reason for me to switch camera. <laughs> Switch cameras and act like I'm talking to the camera on Twitch. That was it. Anyway, what? Uh, That's good comedy, Hobbs. Thanks, buddy. Co uh, Keep melee. Up. Keep it up. Rucks ass. Me, Rucksack. Sean is so quiet today. He's watching. Porn. I'm really pissed off about my video, man. Your video looks fine. Look it's at Twitch. Janky, isn't it? No, on yeah, Twitch it looks fine. It's, it, it That's locks it. And what about Discord, though? You guys are all, like, smooth, like, nothing, and mine's like, crack, crack, crack. He's oh, jerky. He's like, crack, crack, he's, crack, like yeah, he's a yeah. robot. Uh, he's like Max Hedrum. Yeah, he's Max Hedrum. <laughs> twitching in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks I like you're not I can't fix it, otherwise I'll... 
I can't fix it because it'll drop. But all right. Yeah. He, hey, he's man. Right. Do that at break. I kicked its want. ass. He, he's I will. Like, yeah. the show. Oh, <laughs> we finally <laughs> did hit it at break, or he finally did hit it. Yeah, one, and then then a two, and then a natural twenty. You know, it's just a oh, normal day. We're we're doing double wow. damage, so you can roll another d six. Oh, brother. Well, I think I will then. Seven didn't kill it. Nope. And now you uh you take my weapon damage into that too, so that's seven, right? No, you, you only get the weapon damage once. Uh, strength damage? Oh, only once. The okay. weapon damage is doubled. Sorry, the weapon damage is doubled, but the magic of the weapon and your strength only once. So you just get another D five on top of it, so it'd be twelve points of damage. What happens okay. to this dude? Oh Some, man! Some with his he... ball, right? <laughs> yeah. Ma's ball, maybe. <laughs> I I chop off one of his legs and then I bring the blade up through his abdomen. Damn. Old leg to abdomen, boys. Sorry, right. I just I have some weird things going through my brain right now. Obviously, <laughs> without question. <laughs> without without question. question. All right, so Psycho um, psychology. So you have cleared off around a space. Uh, these guys, you can see like there's, they have weapons like tridents and uh, spears and bidents along the walls, but they don't really carry them with them when they're just hanging out in their house that you've just busted into and started killing them. So uh, they are rushing at you uh, weaponless. Which idiot. Sweet. Mistake. Mistake! Take a shellacking now, boys. This guy rushes up and they grab their weapons from the walls. All right. <clears throat> now it is uh, one guy gets to attack. Fasakoy, of course. <laughs> I can't wait to see the nine points of damage. Be a natural 20 double damage. A one! The opposite of a natural 20. Let's roll initiative. So I think someone won last time, Felonius? Yep. Yeah. Me to five, sir. Uh -oh. Looks like Sean. Uh, he did drop. drop. Do I get. Yeah, do I get to roll a d20 this time? Oh, he did, because there's like two of me now. Woohoo! What's up, boys? Which is weird, though, because in the uh, roll. On one, I'm like, you can see me the right way, and in the other, you can't. That's weird. Same camera. Sean says he's on Twitch. <coughs> oh, he's, here. Excuse me. he's here. He's not on Discord, right? Um, his well, he avatar is there. His, his camera's yeah. not on. Yeah, it just moves him in Discord him. when that happens, so... All right, so what'd you get? A four. So they go, go first. Me. All right. They continue to rush forward. Pretty quick. Yeah. These guys have their weapons. Come on, Sean. Jiminy Christmas. Jiminy Christmas. All right, so there are going to be an attack. On Fasakoy. A three. And then we've got five guys who can attack. Oh, no, only four because these guys don't have weapons. So they can't, you know, reach with their tridents or anything. Hey. Hey, oh. Look at it. It's much better. Yeah, yeah, it's still right. not very good. I can't see you very it's well. It's it's fuzzy, fuzzy but yeah, like it's, it's not. not choppy like it was. Let's book us now. All right, so uh, <laughs> nice. Back. Welcome back, Sean. Let's see. We Sorry. got four. So two attacks on each. It looks like. Yep. Holy shit! But they don't have weapons. They don't have weapons. Shit is right. So 
the first two, 16 and 11 on, um, they have a plus one. On me? No. Oh. That, the first ones would have been on Cedric. The second two would have been on uh, Ruxus. So 17 <laughs> hit you. 17 so, hits. Yeah. So yeah 16 hit. hits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They both hit you, though. Mm, this isn't good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they do 2d4. With their clawed fists. It would be fists, I guess. Ooh, seven points on Cedric. Crackle Rock, they might as well be using weapons. And here are... Weapons seem like a downgrade for them. Yeah, yeah well, no not everyone wants to just eat, fight with their hands. They like to use weapons. They get a plus one if they use a weapon. So if they were using a sword or something, it would be D8 plus one. So. Anyhow, these are the 44 on Ruxus. Oh, oh my god. Good lord. He's still alive. Suck it. All right. You got a shield? <laughs> no. I do not. Okay. All right. I did have a shield. I'll have to get should another I, one. Should I sound the retreat bell? Yeah, I will. I'm leaving. Like I, Yeah, let's yeah, well, let's let's die. back into the uh into the into the doorway so they So they it is your guys' down. turn. All right. So retreat. I, so if you flee, they're going to get free attacks on you. Yeah, go ahead. If you move, if you move, your just your, you know, just half of your movement backwards, they won't get free attacks on you. Okay. So which do you want to oh. do? Oh. So like you could move so, here. And they wouldn't get an attack on you. It'd just be like you'd be retreating. So what? Because you can't. The pool is going to slow you down, right? This pool slows you down. Oh, I got you. Okay. So uh, you, if, you can only move 10 feet. So there, right? And then you can move you here don't. if you wanted. That'll work. All right. So no one, they don't get an attack on you. Does Medcox have a spear? He does. So if they come up, Medcox will get a free shot on him just because he's got fast strike, right, with a spear. So he can strike out at people when they approach you. Is is Fasakoy going to, is George staying yes. there? Or is he moving back? Or? Well, George's got a bow, right? You'd think he'd move back and. Hey, he's got it. a bow. Fasakoy will move to there. Because I didn't know if you wanted to wait to see where Jordan was going, and then you could decide where you wanted to go, Fasakoy. You can't do anything yeah. else when you retreat, though, like that. When you do a. Right. A, no, I get that. Well, he can move through, because he gets half his movement, right? Yeah. But half would be two, correct? Two squares. Oh, you're game. you're in metal armor. I keep on thinking you're. Uh, what, are, are you a thief? No. No. <laughs> I'm a fighter. That, okay. That was, that was 15 characters ago. <laughs> I don't know. You keep on changing. I can't remember. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I keep going back and forth. So unless George's moving up the steps, I'm going to stop right there. What is George yeah, doing, Bird? If I see him backing up, George will back up. All right. Then I will, I will move one more, so I will move to here. All right, missiles. No, George's going to go to... He can't shoot now because he's up the stairs, so he'll go to the spear and shield. All right, so but his... I, I, could, I could still shoot, right? Uh, yeah. All right, so I will I will arrow this guy right No, here. you can't because you did a you did a disengage. Because it was... Okay, you can't do right. anything else. I told you that, and you go, oh, yeah, that makes sense, and then, then right away, hey, I want to shoot. Well, I, I, I don't memorize the rules. Go ahead, Sean. That's your, that's your job. My turn, or? No, what'd you... I thought you were going to say something. Uh, I was going to tell Hawk, quit shooting that fucking guy over there. Shoot these five over here that are come up right up our ass. <laughs> <laughs> this closer. Well, well yeah, I have one hit point, dude. It's like, yeah, yeah, cover yeah. me, man. Well, I can't shoot an arrow anyway. No melee? No. I'm getting the hell out of dodge. Ooh, let me lift this up. I may be... I may be dead. It may turn into a fight to the death. I gotta take out my dog. All right. Do we want to take a break right now, or do you want to? Uh, a euphemism for something? Wait. That's a. I don't know how much. Well. So Medcox can attack this guy as he moves forward. 
Yeah, I can't see med packs right now. So go but, ahead and roll 20. Yeah. This guy jumps down into like, the pool. Medcock's the inaccurate. I'll be right back. So we got if, one. If those guys do not kill me in the next round and they come up and, yeah, they're going to smash the shit out of me. So if they do one point of damage, I'm down. I got you. I can see AC it. AC is 15. So we got three on Cedric, one with a spear. Oh, all misses. And two on... Miss. All right, so that was the end of round four, right? Because you guys had two rounds early. Yeah, are we taking a break? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take our mid-session break. All right. What session did we say this was? Nothing, everyone just took off. Never mind. 15, I think.
Hey everybody, so I am back. We're waiting on uh, some of the players having some technological problems. The camera's only on me, so nice try, Sean. But we got Days of Lincium now for another about an hour and a half. We got to wrap up early because I have another game, another charity sh session of Eberron with Five uh, E with. The Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. Uh, I'll probably stream it here if I get my gumption going and get it ready in time. But uh, I think that'll cover us for the day. I got a podcast coming out today by a Hobbs and Friends podcast, and the guest is Rob Connolly. Uh, I don't know if people know him or not. He did the Bad in the Attic blog, and he's been in the OSR scene from about 2002 or 2003. So super old school. All right. I'm looking, looks like somebody's eating a donut. Someone's rubbing one off. Everyone, <laughs> guess who's eating the donut? <laughs> also, guess who's rubbing one off? <laughs> Eric, Eric, Aaron takes off. He doesn't like that sort of talk. Anyway. Looks like we're getting some people. I say we get this game going. This is the mid-session break. We're coming back. We're in the in the middle of a fight in a, a cavernous underwater grotto of fishmen. And our players have decided that they are going to eradicate these fishmen, are trying to kill them with every ounce of energy that they can. They've happened into from a secret chamber, apparently their secret cache of treasure, they came in through that way and are now embattling the fishmen. Let's go to the tabletop. All right, here we are. Thelonious is slightly missing, but uh, not necessarily. This is the beginning of round five. It's time for initiative. Thelonious, I believe you got your ass handed to you last time. Let's move initiative on to Bird. A six. Success. Let's go. Movement. And no one's moving. Yeah, what do you want him to do? Do you want him to do something? Here, wait, let me help. Let me help Thelonious. You're not actually down there, but you can see now, right, Aaron? You're welcome. So, Ruxus just moved back. Would you like to move back as well? Medcox is not really engaged in that guy because the pool stops him from being engaged. So... He can go ahead and move uh, full movement if he wants to. Cedric. Vasakoy, are you staying there? All right. Do you have a spear? All right. If you have a trident... If they move into you, you'll get a first attack on them. But if you use your bow, you won't. So if you, like, pull out your trident instead, then you can use that if they move forward. Okay, so don't forget, he can't really, he can only see, like, the bottom of the stairs. He can't see in, into the chamber. Okay, I, I, you don't have to get excited. I'm just trying to let you know. Perfection. Is your light spell still going or is it off now? Uh, 
But how long does your light spell last? That's what I was asking. No. So it would be gone. So it would be gone, right? He could light, he could just light the lantern. Oh, okay. That's what you were talking about. I thought you were talking about game mechanics. <laughs> All right, so he lights a he lights a torch. All right, Thelonious, you're up here. So they're like hissing at you guys from the background in their bug bloop language. This one moves up to attack Cedric Fasakoy. You can attack any of these that you want. So you can attack that guy right now if you'd like. So this guy is in the water and he's going to try and grab at Medcox's feet. Uh, yeah, Medcox, you can attack any of these guys as well. Mm hmm. Medcox missed. Which is way better than a trident in the tush. All right. That was your advantage. You get advantage on damage, so you can roll D8 again. Are right, you using it two handed or one handed? Okay. Yeah, so roll D8 again. Oh, a three. It's still better because that would be a four, right? And believe it or not, that is enough. Ugh. This guy rushes up and you try it in him. The center's try it. The two ones passing by, but the one in the middle, right in the throat. And he goes. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Nice. Uh, so the rest of these guys are going to attack. This is the one on um, Medcox. Oh, my goodness. So he grabs onto Medcox's uh, feet. So Medcox, what's Medcox's strength? Do we know? All right, so roll uh, 3d6. A six. Roll another D6, and you can replace one of those. I think I'd be dead by now if that was the case. Oh, a six, right. So you have ten. You have a ten strength. This guy has a ten strength, so we're going to do an opposed roll. All right, so I rolled a one. So I succeeded, but I'm nine away. So you need to roll a two, between two and ten, and you will succeed. Otherwise, you're going to get pulled into this water. All right, you failed. All right. So Medcox and the creature are grappling in the water now. He's trying to drown Medcox. All right. Uh, we got one attack on Ruxus. Fourteen, Sean. I thought he did, but I wasn't sure. You're still muted, bro. Now you're not. All right, thank you. Cedric, ha oh, I'm going to mark these guys because they have weapons. So I'll just mark them with this wrench, like they're tridents. But these guys must have picked up bidents. So uh, this guy with this bident, Fasakoy, you did attack, but you missed, right? Yeah. Oh, you killed that guy. You're right. Yeah, you killed one. All right, so these, so you have, uh, let's see, who are these guys attacking? Slash R, 1, D, 2, 2, okay, and 2. All right, so the two guys with spears are attacking Fasakoy, and the other two are attacking Cedric.
Oh, God. <laughs> they could hear me, just not you guys, right? Yeah. Correct. Did you not oh. put an audio channel in there for I us? I had it muted while we were on the other. Whoops. There you go. <laughs> That'll Whoopsie. do it. You guys, you guys didn't really come here to hear from them anyway, did you? But hey, this is how you get people in your chat talking. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Makes Happy to see mistakes, everybody. That's... We got Mark. We got Lexfire22. Way to, way to get it going, buddy. The only you're out of spells, right? Yeah. All right. So Sorry. that would be a 16 that hits, you said. So each you guys yep. get hit once, it looks like. So, uh, Fasakoy, yours is a D6 plus one. No, a D8 plus one. Oh, wait, they don't have a sword. They have trident, so bite it. So that would be a D6. Slash R, one D6 plus one. Six points on Fasakoy. And Bird, you got hit, and that would be 2D4. Three points. All right, and now it is your turn. If you took a if you took a first strike, though, did you guys already who won initiative? I don't really even know. We just I rolled sushi time. All right, so I guess in this way it's still you guys can take melee attacks if you want, right? Kind of. Or you guys are done, so it's over. It's initiative time. Sorry. At Nat Bird, you said you won or lost. I won. So it's up to you again. So this three. is round six. Beat a three oh. sushi monster. Oh, it's a tie. All right. Simultaneous. So let's go down the four M's. Movement. Um, George tells Athonius he's going to hand him the ball top while he makes another one. All right. Is there, is there any way I'm going to be able to reach this guy? Yes. <clears throat> so that way you can move if you need to throw it. Can I reach him from where I'm at? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I'll just stay. I won't move. Ruxus, are you retreating up those stairs? Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. So you should be able... Whoa, now you can't because Thelonious moved in the way. You dick. Oh, there should be there should be space there. No, he can't get past you. Well, well I okay, you if I down. see him coming, I'll step back. All right. So well, you can get I, past. What if I move down to here? Yeah, if you move down, then you're fine. Okay. But he still could be hit from there unless you guys switch again. Unless Ruxus and uh, Thelonious switch could one more time. Could I? Could I move there? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. I'll like I say, if I see him coming, I'll move back. All right. So you can be there, and now you can be down here if you want, Thelonious. If right. you want. Well, I'm just moving forward so I can throw the... Uh... But you still could get hit from there, so that's fine. Right, well, that's why I say I'm just moving forward so I can throw the Molotov cocktail. Cedric, what are you doing? I'm up bashing one of these guys. All right. So everyone shifted around. Uh... George's making another Molotov, so... These guys are in here. Let's let's see what happened with Medcox and... Um... This fish man. So what's med? This guy just has his claws, and he can even try to bite and everything. What's Medcox using? Is he like? He had. He obviously would have dropped his spear when he got right. He's got a short here. sword. He's got a short sword. He's trying to jab this guy in the water with, yep. or are you trying to just get free, or what's Medcox trying to do? I think he's he's going to have to fight. Okay, so because the guy is trying to put his weight on top of him and try and drown him as he's trying to slash him with his uh, thing. So let's use my. Uh, my own little combat system, which is called uh, Artisonian Activity Dice, AAD, or something like that. So what we do is we each roll D6. So uh, Medcox is a mercenary, so he doesn't get a D6 for that. So the most we can use is two, so this is like a dice pool system. And what you do, you can get more dice in your dice pool system by, like, if you're a fighter or if you're, like, your background is grappling, if you're using, like, certain weapons. or But if you have one hand on a weapon, you're not grappling, so you lose a die for that. So I think Medcox is going to be on a 2d6, and so will this guy. So we roll 2d6. Doubles are good. Um, and whoever gets the highest roll 
is going to basically, depending on how much difference the roll is, we'll see what the difference is with that, okay? Um. We got an 11. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, <laughs> Thelonious wow. roll. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. So it's basically like a standoff. You guys flash around, <laughs> try and stab each other, but nothing happens this round. Uh, so there's no change. Nice. All right. So now well let's done. do uh, missiles. Anyone missling? Thelonious? I'm throwing the uh, throwing the uh, Molotov cocktail okay. uh, in the middle in the middle of the four guys in front of me. So right where Medcox is. Not in the pool of water, pool. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, he's 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 uh right. He's. So he where he meets here, like in the middle of the four. All right, we better look this up and see how old school essentials does this. If anyone beats me to it, that would be great. Otherwise. You'll have to wait until I find it. Anyone in the chat, if you guys know what the rules are, tell us what page. <laughs> All right. I think it's some kind of missile weapon. Anyone find it yet? The rest of you guys can look on. Watch my jigger if you'd like. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Let me just get, let me just get the watch my jigger out. Yeah, pull out your watch my jigger, sir. But uh, please stay I, seated. I left my watch my jigger <laughs> in the other pants. I left my watch my jigger a long time ago. It just got me in trouble. Bird, this is usually your strength. What's going on? Yeah, really. He's usually got the rules memorized. Hey, I my can, Streamlabs thing is really hear that guy. I can bar barely hear Hawk. What? Hawk? You can, you can barely yeah. hear me. Yeah, you do I sound quiet. I can barely hear him. Well, oil flask burning. I didn't change anything. Oh, as a missile, what are you trying to figure? It's, it looks like it's 1d8. Is that it? Does it like burn That's for another it. round and then do 1d8? It says one, that, 1d8 splash, splash weapon. I mean, I, that, that seems to me like it would be the closest thing to what we're talking about. Yeah, what did you say it was? Burning what? Oil flask, comma, burning. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yep. Yep. All right, so you need to yep. make a roll, yep. but they don't so get like their AC probably bonus for that, so make a roll. So I'm don't a miss. D20 roll? Yep. All right. A seven. seven. That doesn't sound very good. So let's see where it goes. Um, a five. Three. You're throwing it here, right? Yeah, like right, in front so of that guy. One, two, three, off. Roll a d6. D6. All right, you got a five. High, do you want to be even or odds? Uh, even. All right, even. Would you rather make it a long throw or a short throw? It's a short throw. Yes. Right, so it hits this guy right in front of you. Roll a D8. All right, and so everyone around him takes one point of damage from the burning oil. So that would be Cedric, Thelonious, and... Um, Fasakoy. Fasakoy. So the splash won't carry over to the next round. What oh, the shit. burning will? Yeah, the burning will. The burning guy will. Hopefully it scares the shit out of him. This is actually how Burning Man got started. <laughs> it was originally Burning Fish Man? <laughs> it was. We got tired of the oh, fish, God. so it was just like Burning so Man. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, seven, seven. So the guy in the water, it's not going to hit those guys. It's not going to hit Medcox and the guy in the water. Oh, All that's right. nice. So, um... 
Yeah, so it's their turn now? No, or they already go? Or what? What's happened? No, that was missiles. It's simultaneous. So now it's melee? That was, that was yeah, that. that was that was missiles. Now it's melee. So you guys want to do your melee first? Anything that dies is going to get a bat, is going to be able to attack back. I'm just going to move this guy out because that's just confusing. So everyone roll. See if they're going to attack or not. A boom! Fasikoy misses Cedric. Hit Cedric. Which one are you hitting? The one down there. Yep. Not the guy up there. Oh, that actually is just enough to kill him. What happens to him, Bird? Nice. I give him another eye socket. Yeah. <laughs> With hammer bird. right to the hammer right to the melon. All right. Pops. <laughs> Pops like a cantaloupe. All right, Ruxus, you can't move, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. All Come right, on, man. Uh, Ruxus, you buddy. don't have a uh, you don't have a spear or anything like that. No, I do not. Play okay. the game, boys. You can Come grab on, uh, George off the ground. That's fine with me. You can grab it and stab if you want to. Grab fine. It. You don't have to. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. He doesn't sound very happy. To hit natural fifteen with. Probably plus two, 17. What's the spear do? One to six? D6 plus two. Oh, D6. I've been rolling a D8. Fur. Oh, D8 two-handed. I sure hope you're stabbing the guy in front of me. Nope, he stabbed you. Yeah. No, he did stab him. <laughs> but it isn't enough to kill him. So now it is an attack back. So that guy, Cedric, still gets an attack on you. The guy yep. in the back is going to attack. Three, one, Cedric, so you got three attacks. Fasikoy has one attack, and Thelonious has one attack. Slash R, 5D, 20. The one in the middle is Thelonious, the last one. I mean. So 2, 12, 15 on Cedric. That's a 16. Thelonious, that hits you, and Fasikoy is missed. Um, that last one, Cedric, would have been... Uh, the guy with the spear. 1d6 plus 1. 5 points of damage. Ouch. Uh, Thelonious. 4 points of damage. And that's it. Uh, he, he can take it. He's a wizard. He's an animal. He's an animal. I'm going to take that kelp thing off of you since you have the free action ring. There you go. All right. So uh, I think that does it, right? We are now on round seven. Bird, you tied, so you're still tied. one. Yep. So you are rolling. I got a two. This is a pretty exciting battle. Come on, Birdie. A four. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So you guys All right, win. All right. Retreat. So it is movement. Um, retreat. Everyone up oh, to casting? steps. If possible. Oh, you want to cast? Or what? No. Aaron? No, I, I'm, I'm going to, at some point, my next step in my plan was to blow the horn of the bullwinds. Are you going to do it this time? That's what I was thinking. So that Knock will happen during magic. All right, so Ruxus moves back. Is anyone else moving? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to have to fall back because I got two. Right, my plan is to blow and retreat. That's fine. Uh, I'm assuming I'm, I'm not going to be able to get up those steps then. Ruxus, or Cedric, are you only moving there, or are you moving one more? I can only go two spaces. Oh, okay. Because I have chain. That was only one space. I was here, so that's like one and a half. I can't go more. No, the first one is one, the second one is two. If you go diagonally again. So you could go there and then there if you wanted. All right, one, I'll two. go there. So, Hawk, you can go one, two, if you'd like. Like right there? Yep. And now we can blow the horn. Yeah, so they mean, uh, oh, that's not going to hit anybody. Oh, it's 10 feet, so it's going to just hit this yeah, guy. Is that right? These guys and are down, guy. and this guy, yeah. And these guys are down in the water. You guys are leaving Medcox to his fate. No, 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 no. There's somebody right there with the grenade. Yeah, yeah. So it hit, it's 10 feet, you said, right, Aaron? So it's yeah, both it's of these feet. guys. So they need saving throws. Don't make it. Roll ones, please. Nope. But I do believe that 11 is not going to be successful. 
All right, so these guys... Oh, wait, right, roll a d8 for uh, Aaron. Yeah, they give me like levels. Hit dice seven to make a run. Six points of damage. So as you move up, this guy is burning and he's like, Aah. he's still got the fire burning on him. And then the horn blasts him backwards and he expires from that. Uh, uh, this guy is now prone. my back he's prone <laughs> all right what uh <laughs> Thelonious, you're gonna move now yep i'm bravely running away okay and you can move your full movement you're not engaged with anyone all right so medcox let us roll so we decided it's 2d6 and if he's trying to uh, kill him oh and if you're only using one hand you should have gotten an attack on him as well but we, neither of us got an attack so it doesn't matter Let's see who does the better on this roll here. I got a seven. We're rolling 2d6, is that yep. correct? Right. Seven is perfectly average. Oh! Ooh, a six. So he actually has a, a bit of an advantage on you, but not enough to uh, make it. Why don't you make a con save? So he's kind of holding you under the water a little bit. We don't know what his con is, so roll 3d6. And you can mark these stats on him from now until the future. Ooh, he's got an eight con. Uh, so make a con save. You can roll a d20, so, eight or under. Got dark in here. I did. All right, yeah, so some, you're not affected yet. There. But uh, now you can attack if you want with your short sword. All right. 11. 11 misses. All right, now it is their turn. Ruxus, you have a spear, right? I do. Let's see which one of these guys come up first. One or two. Maybe they don't even. I should probably roll. Nine, yeah, they are still pissed. They're pissed that you guys attack their inner sanctum. So this guy comes rushing up. So you can go ahead and make an attack, Ruxus, with your... You have a bite in out as well, don't you, Hawk? Trident, yeah. So you can you can attack right now if you want. Roll damage. Damn straight. Oh, a mighty two. All right. So, Ruxus, how much Could damage you? do you do? Oh, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Plus strength, right? Yeah. How much is that? At least once. Two, so three, oh, four, four damage, four yeah. damage on a crit or on a, on a natural twenty. That's awesome. <laughs> what a you lock off shit. an ear. Ah! With the spear, you stab him. <laughs> he strikes by, leaving three trails across his rib cage. Oh wait, I forgot about this guy. This guy is like, oh, dum dum da dum da dum. <laughs> yeah, let me help you, bud. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. All right. Suddenly, Hobbs is just in his own game. <laughs> That's not a real surprise, is it? Uh, this guy's trying to get in there. Now, let us go and see what's happening down below again on this guy's turn. We've got melee again with Medcox. We're so, totally rooting for Medcox. I got a three. Oh, I rolled it in my hand instead of online, but we'll take it. An eight. All right, so you are a four up. So you have some control over him and you're kind of uh, wrestling with one hand. Like you could have your, you know, have him behind the head, like in a kind of like a headlock or like a throat clench if you want or what. What, what do you think Medcox like is that. trying to do? That, that, or you that could, seems, you could have seems reasonable. broken free completely of him and get an attack, whatever you want. Or you kind of could be choking him out right now with a, and then you can try and stab him. I'll give you like a plus two with your short sword. Yeah, I'm, I'm stabbing him with my short sword. Ooh, that's a hit. 17. Yeah. And it's uh, <laughs> a short sword of D6. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. I haven't given this guy any hit points yet. He's been fighting with Medcox the whole time. All right, so <laughs> uh, 
you basically, you know, you've got him like this, and ah, you stab him in the side. He, like, lets out a cry. No strength bonus on him, we decided, right? All right. Um, shit, I'm lost. You did four points. Yep. All right, perfect. Okay, so, oh, this guy will probably move forward once he got some help up. And we'll attack. We got up there, Fasa Koi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Says he's attacking with his spiders. Uh, take this, you son of a gum. A nine. Miss. All right, let's go on to round eight. I got a six. Bird, you're still in there, right? But this shall be the end of you, Bird. It is. Ah, some dance music. <laughs> it's, it's no longer fighting. <laughs> <laughs> the square dance is on. This is dance music. It seems like an exciting dance. All right, so these guys are. Uh, all right, let's go down to Medcock. So Medcock, you're up four on this guy. If you get another one, like you'll just instantly be choking him out, and he won't be able to do thing. But he is down. He is down. So he is actually down. Uh, you get three d six now instead of two d six, but you still only count two of them. Okay. Oh, eight. I'll go with the two sixes. Oh, <laughs> good choice. All right, yeah. So, uh, why don't you? I think that you have all, uh, complete control of him, so you can just like stab him if you want or whatever you want to do. Yeah, right, right. Because uh, I got him. I'm behind yeah, him at this point. Like, got the arm around the neck. So I mean, one of his uh, his head things, you know, spines as well, or around his neck. You can. Yeah. All right, roll damage. Get him in the gizzard, buddy. All right, that indeed. Medcox slashes this guy's throat open. And this is on his turn. (laughs) That sucks. All right, nice. (laughs) All right, so um, we got a guy attacking Fasakoi there. Uh, we got two guys attacking Fast and Koi. One with a spider and one not. One with his hand oh. weapons. Oh, looks like the Biden makes a stab through. Four points of damage. Oh. Bye, do, guys. Do you have a shield? No. All right. Down goes Fast and Koi. Medcox is alone in the water. Blood just starting to fill the hot spring. All right. Um, I don't think this guy even knows he's down there. They're so eager to get at you. Oh, he does. Ah! He jumps in the water with Medcox. Medcox is <laughs> once more in a battle. Sweet. All right, Medcox, you're starting over. 2d6. All right. Oh, my God. Three. All right, so you're on the second phase with him. So once again, you can have him like one arm locked or whatever, you know, like a, a, the minimal level of engagement in a grappling session. So like when he comes in, you've grabbed him and like thrown him down in the water. All right. So you're kind of above him. All right. It is your guys' turn. Is anyone moving? Any Fasakoi Fasakoi will be moving to the heavenly sphere. (laughs) Fasakoi just kind of SpongeBob slimes down the stairs. (laughs) All right. <laughs> maybe, missiles. Maybe in your death throes, you could fall on him there fast. <laughs> yeah. No missiles. Yeah. I, up. As right. I as I feel the life going from uh, me, I jump onto that fish man. Could, is there any way to throw a missile down these stairs from up here? No. You could. You Jord like could throw his that the fire down there if you want. But, yeah, that's what I want to do. But you could very possibly hit Fasakoy. Uh, no, no loss. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's sure to be gone. I mean, it's up to you, bro. Uh, Ruxus, do you want to stab? Toss it, man. Toss it. You want to stab? Cedric, you could... You could. Uh, it looks like you're just kind of close enough you could reach down with your hammer and hit that guy. Yeah, I'll, I'll try Ruxus that. misses. Mull that one. Uh, 
miss. Cedric misses. All right, Medcox. Let's do some more Arnasonian action dice. I got a. Th- I'm not using my headset. four. Yeah, I didn't think I you were. You got a five, so that puts you up <laughs> uh, one more. You are not quite there. You can go ahead and stab with your sword if you want. All right, that misses. Go. Oh. All right, now we are on to round. Oh, you guys, did you guys win or lose? You guys won, right? Or you lost, so that's the end of the round, right? How's that? Initiative. It's time for initiative. Pretty quiet. I lost. Now you're super quiet, bird. All right, so it looks like we're back around on the initiative to Hawkster. Oh, really? How exciting. Round nine. Beat a three, Hawk. Boom. Ooh, a two. No chance, baby. All right, Medcox, 2d6. I haven't won initiative in 16 years. Oh, shit. So you have complete control of this guy. Go ahead and roll damage. Medcox is like a water. He's like a mud wrestler. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's cool. Look at that. <laughs> All right, you, you Bunk. slide it into his torso once. Twi- oh, he's not dead yet, though. He's like, Ugh. But you could stab him next round, because um, he's he's like he's just lolling there, kind of underwater. He's thrashing, but trying to grab your arm off him. But you got him around the throat. The other hand, just stabbing him with a short sword. All right, I'm gonna move you away. No one tried to drag you out or anything. This guy comes up. Cedric is getting one, and the, I think Cedric's getting two because you're kind of right there at the top of the stair. If he's moving in and engaging, does that have free opportunity for okay. Ruxus with the spear? See, it's not a free opportunity. It uses up his round, his turn. He can attack now if he wants, but you can attack now. You can first strike with him, but you don't get to attack later in the, when it's your turn. All right. So two attacks on Cedric. Oh, one hit on Cedric. This guy is using his claws four points of damage negatory my last shield's gone all right all right whips it away from you uh it is your guys's turn medcox can roll damage cedric can attack uh thelonious you could whip a dagger if you want they're in melee but i'm gonna hit uh i'm I'm almost certainly gonna hit bird if i throw a dagger (laughs) That's my damage. My right, taxes so damage. The guy swarms away a little bit. Oh, we should roll 2d6 again. But you get 4d6 now, and he only gets 2, because he might be able to break free. All right. We got a 9. You beat him by 6. So you are just making it worse on this guy. Uh, let's just say that with that maneuver, you have broken some ribs. You can feel his throat and larynx crush under Medcox's steely mud wrestling grip. <laughs> this guy trained in the bayou with gators. Apparently. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so you guys went first. Or, or, I'm lost again. You guys lost initiative. I know that, right? Yeah, yeah we're just going now. Okay, good. Yeah, that was Medcox's turn. Cedric? Ruxus, I, Jared. Cedric oh, rolled a 12. Uh, Ruxus can't attack. He he attacked. Oh, or is this, no, this is a new round, right? Yeah, so you can attack this round. Go ahead. I'm lost. Go ahead, man. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's high quality GMing right there. That's a 13. Thanks, 13. Um, that should hit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. AC6, right? Yeah, 13 hits. Yeah. Seven. Seven points. This guy is unwounded. So this fight is coming down to the wire. All right. Uh, Cedric Med- missed. Medcox mm-hmm. is going to be the only one alive at the end. Right. <laughs> he just keeps I'm throwing people down here. the water hole. <laughs> <laughs> down the water hole with Medcox. That's my new podcast. All right. Uh, round 10. Initiative. You lost a hawk, which doesn't surprise anyone. Sean, beat it to you. <laughs> nice. 
two simultaneous. All right. <laughs> is anyone moving? Uh, Mentuck's going to scramble out of the hole and pick up his spear. His spear is not there. His spear was taken, right, by Ruxus, wasn't it? That is, that no. is correct. Ruxus no. is using Jor's Jor- Jor- spear. I thought he did take it. Because no. he was up here when he, he can, grabbed it. He can grab it. I don't get took- shiitake. He can grab yeah, his spear and take- attack if he wants in the next. Mm-hmm. He- yeah, because he's going to go after the, the back right. fish. Nobody guy else is moving, so let's just roll for attacks. So I'll give Medcox What's the broken a plus back one. there for uh, on Ruxus. <laughs> well, I, I think it was supposed to go on someone else. Some you said you're, you're going to give Medcox what? A plus one. Okay, so that's, that's a thirteen. Uh, that's still a miss for a uh, henchman because they have they they have a fake of twenty. They're not. The yeah, same we have a minus one characters. for henchmen. They're not. They're not the same as player characters. So Medcox misses. Uh, Cedric hits though. Which one? Closest one, bread pan. They're both the same distance. This one's right in front of me. That one's half a distance away. Closest one. <laughs> Jesus. Four points of plus, damage. I know he plus I know he's injured. <coughs> uh, they're both injured. Alright, that kills what? him. <laughs> Ruxus. Missed. Missed? Alright. This is cool. roll to one. Alright, so I got two attacks coming on Cedric. But it was a it mighty was... one. Simultaneous. Oh, one hits. This guy's Triple using his damage. claws. Two points of damage. Oh. <laughs> nice. And I'm at zero. Oh, no. it's still enough. He would have been down no matter what as soon as they hit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can't remember what we decided about zero. You don't have to make a death save at zero, or you do? I can't remember. I think you do. Setter can't die. He's the only... The rest of these guys will be like, fuck this. Let's just run away. All right. Uh, <laughs> next round? Sure, yeah. have a, he doesn't have a weapon besides his... Yes, he does. I spent 300 gold to equip him. Okay. I'm, well, that's what I'm asking. Is Do you want him to do <laughs> yeah. something is what he's asking. Well, he isn't in range to do something. He has a sword right now, so I have to move next round to get him in to do it, something. All right, yeah. We're right? right past the movement phase. All right, right so... past the movement phase. Come on, oh, four I'm M's on the here. M, I? Jesus. All right. So confused about the M's. All right, so uh, I think it's... I think it's initiative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was simultaneous last time, so whoever rolled... Right. One John. gets to roll again. I think that would. That wasn't that me. Sean P. Kelly. I'm, oh, I'm pretty no. sure. Oh come on! Come on! What the hell? Let's see who this course, guy there's attacks. Only, there's only one of them. Where right here, my right. Twenty today. Yeah, where's his morale check? I've been giving him morale checks. They keep succeeding. Might be because you're in their abode. So this guy turns on Medcox. This could be the end of Medcox. Probably not. Just dump him in the water hole. Oh, a three! Oh my God! You guys go. He's he's gonna Medcox is gonna drown a fish man. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Everybody attacks. <laughs> Ruxus misses. Miss. Come on, George, stick it to him. See. Medcox. Let me see if this. Let me see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering All right. if he would even go in there. We are now on to row. Roll, round 12. Rolling 120. Good job, Cedric. I got a three. I think we are on uh, Aaron. Jeez, is it back yeah, to me? I think so. A four. Boom. Three attacks. Let's go, boys. So Let's down go, the wire. You Ruxus know, hits him. That's it. Eight. Eight points of damage. This guy dies. Oh my god, what a battle in the hidden grotto of the fishmen. Alright, so now let's roll some saves versus death. Alright, here it is. Good luck, guys. Here's Fasakoi. Dun, dun, dun. Boom! Oh. Oh. (laughs) I fail all of these. (laughs) 
Dude, character awesome. number character number eight. Cedric. You oh, are no. awesome. Oh, Cedric died. Did you have healing spells left, Bird? Oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh. Uh, I burned my I, my spells got burned up casting light. All oh, right. All right. So we could see. All right, so <laughs> so we don't have light, and we're trapped underwater. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have torches. Yeah, but once you get underwater, <laughs> no, I, I, I realize <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my god, seems like some pretty bad stuff has just happened. Oh, none. Of, no one's actually watching the Twitch because they couldn't see any of this fight. There we go. All right. <laughs> That's high quality television. <laughs> Hell yeah, boys! D and D on TV. Can't beat it. Oh man! All right, so what are we gonna do? Medcox is a stud. That's all I'm I got. resting, bandaging my wounds, <laughs> taking out all the metal and shrapnel out of my body. <laughs> right. And the burn marks from the flaming oil. All right, so there's like uh. Nearly a dozen fishmen corpses piled uh, around the area, especially around the doorway to the hidden chamber. Does Kalamari. fishmen taste good? Do you beer batter <laughs> those uh, guys or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Deep fish fry? is fish is fish, my friend. Fair, fair. All right, what are you guys going to do? Heal. Somebody heal me. Somebody heal me. He's Can dead. heal me. Cedric is He's dead. dead. I personally will ascend to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say bird is prob. Oh no. Medcox is not your. Oh, Jorrit is though. George's mine. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Medcox. Hawk can run Medcox until. Okay. Oh, man. There's the kiss of death. <laughs> Without question. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was a total stud till I take over. All right, Medcox. It's you and me, buddy. All right, what are you guys going to do? I ask again. Uh, so you should, like, first off, turn off the battle music and put on some sad retrospective music. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we can reminisce about the good old days of Fasakoy and Cedric the Entertainer. I refuse to turn off the battle music. <laughs> I knew them well. Who is Medcox? Is like I am uh, Thelonious's thug. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. So why don't we? Why don't you tell us where you acquired Medcox? <laughs> we we uh, Medcox was in in the uh, was in the uh, lumber camp. Oh, that's right. We hired him while we were there. He was buddies with. Hawk's fifth, fifth character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Open uh, Blast. Uh, uh, no, it was... I Wasn't it the guy before that? It was like Stormguard, I think. A Grow Muncher or something. <laughs> yeah, one, one of those characters. <laughs> oh, brother. Merrowind? We barely got to know that guy. He's now... Crushing marbles in heaven. Yeah. All right, what are you guys going to do? So those guys are loaded down with armor and all of their equipment. Do they have armor that would, well, but given the way that they're built, do they have armor that would fit uh, uh, Medcox? Sure. Is it better than... Is there thunder and lightning down the... here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't believe it is. Somebody hear that? <laughs> and lightning... <laughs> Oh. I didn't know be close to the storm. surface. Fasakoy had chain mail if I don't know what Medcox's armor he's, is right he's now. He's got he's got chain. All That's right, why then. I was asking. And i and actually I was I oh. was overstepping because he's yours now, Hawk. But Fasakoy has that magic sword. The sword of bronze is what I called it on my character sheet. Right. So it's plus one or plus two versus spell users. Cedric has um, a magical set of chain. 
Magical chain. That's awesome. Magical chain. Jord's wearing plate. Jord's alive. We're not going to be scavenging that guy. But I'm saying it's going to be a downgrade. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. But it would be an upgrade for Medcox, right? Yeah. All right. I don't think, do we have any healing potions left? I don't have anything on Cedric. I don't think I have anything on. on yep, I think here. we're out. Nope, nothing here. Yeah, I have a zero by the healing potion, so we're out from... Hmm. Well, we are in a sticky wicked, boys. Yeah. Well, we can, uh, while we're... Uh, you may want to look around this cave, I suppose. Right. Make while sure we're licking our wounds. Make sure nobody's hiding. So, yeah, let's have a let's have a cautious look around. Do we have a light source? Yeah, uh, had a torch. Got it. He lit up oh, a torch. torch or something. <laughs> that clearly didn't uh, become waterlogged when we were swimming through the lake. <laughs> Probably wrapped in an oil cloth. Oh yeah. So who, who is it? Just Thelonious, Ruxus, Medcox, and Jorid? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and and Medcox and Jorid took no damage. <laughs> God, Medcox is an animal. Um, so let's search. Let's search the bodies. See what we find here. Search the bodies. We already have a big treasure chest with like thousands of gold. Now we want yeah, to see so. these fishmen's pockets. They might have trinkets. Trinkets, I say. Let's see if we can find a way out of here without requiring swimming. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm thinking. What we're gonna have to do. All right, so you find they do have trinkets made of like beaten bronze and. Uh, they don't have coins, so but they do have like pieces of jewelry, and this is like their home area, so you can find it amidst all their belongings. It totals up to 150 gold pieces. All right, we're millionaires. We're hundred heirs, just like all D and D publishers. <laughs> if they started out as thousands heirs. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't have dirge music, Mark CMG. Sorry, buddy. All right, what uh, what next? So you can see up here, this these are actually lips that lead back into water-filled caves, like the water is below. That's nice. <laughs> do you guys, do you guys need some time to think about this? I got one hit point, man. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, just you like you have to, fi you have to go somewhere sometime, or you're gonna run out of food and water. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. what if what if uh, Ruxus and uh, Thelonious can hang out in that upper room, and then Medcox and George will take a little tool around here? I vaguely see some steps all the way down here. Follow me, George. Actually, I can move George. You want me to? Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and move them together. That works. So we're just kind of looking around, looking around. What's over here by this big pit of death? Oops, sorry. Mm, just pools of water, pools of water. Oops, sorry. I thought you said to just move them around. Go ahead. <laughs> so I can grab a Jordan. Apparently, you're still moving. Them. All right, let's go. You down can here. you can hide like both and move them together. To see. Mm-hmm. If you oh, hover sorry. over, if you hover over All both right, of our, uh, let's go up here. It looks like a there cliff. I can, I can actually move both of them. Yeah. All right, now somebody's moving both of them. 
That was me. Is it, it was, you, Bert? It was Who's me. Home? It was taking too long. <laughs> I started doing it. <laughs> Go ahead. Well. I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding. Yeah. All right. So it appears to be some sort of a, uh, is that a staircase down? That Looks would be like a staircase up. up. Oh. And not into and, water. And does this does this cliff right here does this go up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're at the bottom of it. All right. Do we want to follow that or do we want to jump up on the? Uh... Oh, there's nothing up there. All right. Let's go down these steps. Up the steps. <laughs> up this. Let's go up these steps. I'm How sorry, do you get up? Here. How do you get down with those? I don't. I don't, understand. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting some sort. The way I'm looking at them, they look like they're going. The down. shadows, like. Yeah, the shadows are making yeah. me think they go down. Okay. But I, I see what they, I see how they might be up also. <laughs> so okay. Just well, that's just, good. All right. Sorry. So, so there's a chamber like, up here. It doesn't look like uh, an area where anyone lives. It's, it's kept relatively clean. Err than the other. And it, maybe it's dotted with, like, there, uh, some of those pieces of jewelry that you found before. You didn't really find until just now because they're laying around at this area right here. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Back here. All right, right, right. You yeah, see yeah. two pedestals. Pedestals. They're all. They're obviously a pair of altars with spherical uh, divots. Spherical divots. So they're like kind of stone pedestals. They look like they've been carved lovingly with some sort of uh, embellishments that make them more aesthetically pleasing. And on the top of them, it's flat. But then there's like some small divots, like the size of a marble. Is it just one on each pedestal, or is it several yep, on each pedestal? Just one on each pedestal. Yeah, so this makes me think there's something. If we drop it into these divots, it's going to make something happen. Yeah, so the mm -hmm. divot is just like a marvel say, uh, convex thing up there. So it's very, right. like a, you know, smaller than a golf ball, like a marble. Like, yeah, you could just set something right on top of it. It just fit in there. <laughs> Sounds like a death trap to me. Jord, put something in there. <laughs> Um, and there and there's all find, these there's all these like trinkets and stuff lying around. Did you say that or did I mishear that? Yeah, you found them. They were like they look like they've been placed around here uh, in some sort of a rever reverment, reverment, worshiping. Reverence. Use some of those to put it in there. See what happens. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that so too. I'm also, it's also just like a small gonna... thing, and some of these are like earrings and rings and all sorts of different things. They're not like going to fit into the oh. divot perfectly. Oh, it's not, okay. Well, we did find, a, were those diamonds that we found earlier? Were those uh, marble-shaped? Yeah, nope. Mm -hmm. oh. Did we would find giant, any gems or anything that were marble-shaped? Would a giant pearl shaped? fit in there? Like, uh, the pearl might fit, yeah. Pearl may fit in. What do you say, Jorid? Feeling risky? Do you want rest that type of gold? Let's face it, if we die, it's just Ruxus and Thelonious on their own. I say this makes a good spot to camp, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Was there, there wasn't anything else over here, was there? No. Okay. So it's just, okay. All right, you want to bring them in here and camp? Yeah, it's got a nice choke point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We don't want to try to put the pearl in the uh, divot or anything like that there, buddy. It's a lot of gold to try to... Mm, it's a nice out. sacrifice. The sacrifice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe, maybe. All right, we can just. Besides, I don't think I have it. I don't think they let you have it either. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rex should have Probably it. Not. He opened the clam. Yeah, you know, we should we should talk about unionizing. We really get treated like crap, and who carried the load on this damn thing? Oh, 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 Ruxus, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't talking about you. There's no oh, way he was just hiding. Thing. He was just hiding in the corner of it. All right, so what are you guys gonna do? 
Well, I guess we're going to camp out here and uh, get back some hit points, I guess. Are you closing the secret door? Are you bringing the yep. corpses? Are you bringing the chest? What all are you doing? Uh, well, we would bring the chest. Bring the chest, bring Cash. the corpses, close the secret door, try as much as we can to cover the human traces we could. Well, there's dead bodies everywhere. Yeah, throw them down a damn water hole. <laughs> Stuff them all down that one hole. I think they're good. And then, and then I'm, and then Medcox will just scrape. Medcox was here on the side of that water hole. <laughs> the Medcox pit. <laughs> and there all was right. no. Uh, did you guys look at look around the whole cavern? There was nothing to the north of that room that that was another exit uh, or anything like that. You're talking about out here. Right. We really didn't go to the north. We did not. We should probably go look. All right. Why don't you just walk around, Jordan? We'll we'll say that uh, Ruxus is. I mean, not Ruxus. Uh, Medcox. Med yeah. Who the hell am Med I? Cox. Medcox. Yeah, Medcox is with you as you're roaming around. So, like I said, there's pools there, right? Yeah. This yeah, is, that's probably this is, where we. That's actually water. So it looks yeah, is like that where we came in before? Looks like another entrance of water there. Yep. So that looks like the other way we were going to come in here. Right. So Probably. we're in the same spot. So I come back and... Your... Okay. All right, so we don't have a... No. All right. There's two ways in and, well, three with the secret entrance. And, uh... Yeah, so... So I suppose there could have been a bunch of those things floating around in the water. As we as we look around at this group and kind of as we eyeball stuff as we move through, does it seem like um, with like the jewelry and the supplies and so on that, that it's enough for just these, the, the men, that, the fishermen that we fought? Or does it seem like there's enough supplies for more? Likely more. Yeah, maybe we should hide in that secret room, right? Well, I mean, it's... That might actually be a better idea, yeah. So this is a common area. Hide there. Yeah, and this, yeah. this might be, like, holy ground for them. So if they find us up here, they might be mm -hmm. extra pissed. Besides yeah. the fact that we killed off, you know, 20 fish monkeys. All right, change of plan. We'll hide in the, uh... Secret room. Secret room that I can't get in. <laughs> yeah, you guys shut the door. The door is shut. The way is shut. You guys don't know how to open it from this side. Sure we do. Because yeah, everybody. Sean is I so use quiet, my storm. Dude. I use my stone masonry experience I'm to find a way. I'm kind of incapacitated. In. Incapacitated. I ain't trying to make sure I don't stumble across something like a, I don't know, a rock or. Stub my toe, or <laughs> I may twist my ankle or something, and make it sure those centipedes room? bite you. Right. I, yeah. I, uh, these guys are searching, so I'm, I'm hanging loose, man. But tendon, like, hey, man, I. Are you guys moving the corpse? Shit back off on then? my body to cut off all move the circulation. Everything. Move all the people back into there. Yep. Yep. Back uh, to the secret room, man. Good thing we moved all these corpses over here before. Yeah, you know, this is the way adventuring goes. You don't know what you're going to do right at the beginning. Oh, I know. I'm moving you all over there, Aaron, if you want to hold up. But that's cool. All right, well, I'll let you move me. You're there already. Hobbs really moves me. I move everyone. <laughs> he that's moves what I do. me. He moves me. Then you're shutting the door, I'm assuming? Yes. yes. Yeah. Doom. Oh, see, now we can just sit around telling campfire stories. So, guys. Yes. Did you ever hear the one about the uh, two bankers and the cleric? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so what are your guys' intentions for the future? You're just trying to rest here with what food you, your sodden food? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that we have any choices. We can't 
I mean, we could go in the water, but we wouldn't have any light. Right. So we gotta, we're going to have to figure out something else. All right, so maybe we should shift over here, and you guys should talk about it. See what your plans are going to be. And I will go to the restroom, and you guys can try to figure out what you're going to do now. A boat. Can we build a boat out of those fishmen? Yes. <laughs> Strap them together. Mm -hmm. Ruxus is an expert in building stuff, so... Uh... You know, I mean, in, in terms of, of strategy here for finding our way out, if, if we think... Um, if we think we can walk along and feel away, our way along the wall, you know, to find our way out. Right. Um, yeah. I've, I've got the protection from, uh, I've got a protection from magic spell that would cover us with that. I don't know, you know, the, the problem is there's clearly fish down here who will kill us. <laughs> Yeah, so, but I mean, you're right. That's that's about the only, uh, right? We just stick to a wall, tie ropes mm -hmm. around each other so that we don't yep. lose each other because we're not going to have any light. Right. I don't have a light spell. And obviously we're Cedricless. And so, so, the, so I guess everybody's at full hit points except for Ruxus and we can't stay down here for too long. No. I mean, we can't stay down long enough to get Ruxus healed. That would be like, what, eight days we'd have to stay down here? Or 12 yeah, days or something like that? Right. <laughs> we, we could try to negotiate with the fishmen. We could say, we come in peace. <laughs> Bird, your mic is off. Oh, he's eating. I thought he was just giving us hand signals. So I get, that just seems like the only I, I don't I can't think of anything else. I mean, because I you know I said a boat, but that's not even a possibility, right? Because aren't these like just like these tunnels are all full of water, right? So right, right. to the ceiling, right. So we're going to have to just take the gillyweed and then track along a wall and find our way out. Now, if we think that other, uh, the, the furthest to the north, uh, that was the first one we found, right? Yeah, so we might maybe walk back through and go out that way once we right, decide Right, because it's a pretty right? straight shot out that way. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it'll save us some time. And the only, the only other thing then, well, I mean, we're not going to be able to do anything in the condition that we're in right now. Right. But, but I feel like those altars, like something, 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 I don't know what, but. Well, right. So do we want to, you know, as we're kind of strategizing here, do we want to, if we leave and we, when we come back, the fishermen are almost certainly going to be here again. So right. we're going to be, you know, we're going to, we're going to end up in another big fight. We might want to. Uh, if we're going to do the pearl on the altar thing, we may want to do that before we, before we bail. Maybe right before we bail. Uh, well, you want to try that first to see what happens. Well, I'm, I'm just yeah. I'm saying maybe we want to maybe we want to try that now. You know, if it releases something, we got to fight. That's a problem. But yeah, so I guess. So I think then we could run away. <laughs> Very quickly too. Yeah. All right. Those, those what are, are my think, thoughts. What do we think of that plan? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> we want to go oh, put oh. The, we want to go put a pearl on one of the altars just to see what'll happen. And if anything bad happens, we're just going to run away. And if we decide against that, we're going to we want to move out to the other place where we first found this. I don't know if that makes any sense, but the, like right, the, the north. The, right. The northernmost exit. Yeah. Because it's, we're, we're thinking that's the, where we, the first one we found, and it's pretty much a straight shot out from that one. 
and get the gillyweed on and then just follow the wall. Since we won't have any light, we'll just have to track along the wall. So probably the most controversial part of the plan is putting putting the pearl on the altar first. Because the risk is we'll release something that we don't want to deal with right now. But if we leave and and uh, come back, we're almost certainly going to be dealing with more fishmen. But we have put a pretty good ding on the fishmen. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're uh, almost half the group we used to be. <laughs> I used to be half the man. Half the band you used to be. <laughs> Hey, here's the ability. I'm going to click ability scores for my next character. You're you're, you're going to play this one for the foreseeable future, so... No, I know, I know, but I'm saying, here's my next character. There he okay. is. All right, so do we, do we decide what we're doing, or... Yeah. You are no, trying to put the that. pearl on? Sure. Yeah, let's give it a go. All right, it, it relatively fits in there, but it must lack something because nothing happens. But it does fit in there, but nothing happens. So there must be other pearls. A second pearl. Or two pearls or something. Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to okay. bail then? Let's bail. All right, I think that sounds like a good idea for the ne beginning of the next session. What do you guys think? Sure, Sean, sure. like, oh my god. Sean, this this game ends when you want it to. This is just a long lasting game. It's so emotional though. It's such an emotional roller coaster, Hobbs. I just Is it the music? <laughs> no, I'm flying well, that probably doesn't <laughs> help matters, but yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Uh, well, I'll tell you guys what. You look fantastic on this stream. That's for sure. What? You look great. This is a, I have it on a oh. different screen, and it's just you guys with big cameras and oh, oh, oh. beautiful nice. names, and, and it looks great. <laughs> so you're just admiring the way you've set up your Twitch channel. <laughs> Pretty that much. is correct, yes. <laughs> that's the nuts of it. <laughs> the nuts. <laughs> that is the nuts. All right, so let's Not go. the bolts. Do we have any highs and lows anyone wants to uh, mention or talk about or... Killed some dudes. All right, that's killed Sean's high or low. Pretty heavy crits. Some I dudes mean, killed me. Let's let's face low. it. Medcox was no one the killed high you. In this session, right? You seem pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he rocked. And I don't honestly feel feel that sad about Fasikoy because I didn't even name the guy, so I didn't really have any attachment to this dude. Mm, I liked him. I liked that name. I, th I liked that character. I, I thought Fasco really is cool. a cool name. Yeah. Yeah. Cedric's no longer entertaining us. Yeah. I have a feeling Bird's going to stick with Jorin, though. So, when do I become a first level character? Uh, I think now. Never. I think now. Why don't we roll up any other stats that have not yet been rolled up by Jorin? Uh, no, you had me roll all the stats. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's good. So if you need he, it done quick, uh, just have Hawk do it. He's got a lot of practice. So he is now a first level fighter? Uh, half crazy. Too much cocaine in the break. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think he should be a first level fighter, so he just goes to max hit points, and I don't know if anything else changes, really. Does it? Changed all that. He is a broken man, though. But he was trying to become... Was he to make him a fighter or a cleric? Fighter. Oh, I mean, you could make him a cleric, or did we already decide that? He I think he's he was a follower. Yeah, he was a follower. Yeah. So you can make him a cleric if you want. That might help. Does he does he have a wisdom or no? Nine. Oh, so no. It's like eleven, eleven, nine, eleven, twelve, 
Six. Perfect. This guy's a and, B A. And that, and that six charisma fits perfect for him. <laughs> for you or for him? For him. Oh. Okay. And me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Aaron, I don't know if you gave any highs or lows. Well, the low, you know, I, I uh, Fasicoy, you know, we, we knew that was going to happen. But, uh, Cedric, that's uh, it's quite a blow. It is quite a blow. Fourth level so cleric. Yeah. Fourth so there's level your low. cleric. Yes. Um, I don't know. I think, I think the, uh, you know, the, even though that's the low and the event it happened in, we, we still took out like 10 fishmen, which is, that's, that's pretty cool. So that'd be my high. Too costly, but definitely a cool fight. Sean? What's that? You got anything? No. I mentioned my highs and lows. Oh, boy. That thing's a mess. We better not go back to that. Oh, my God. What's that? Oh, boy. All right. So, oh, my God. God, It's right. I think with that, I would like to thank everyone for joining us here at Mr. Hobbs' Gamerhood. I had fun. I know you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the outcome. I don't know if these guys did. (laughs) But uh, coming up is session 16 of Days of Lincium next Sunday, 8 a.m. or 8.30, depending on when Bird gets up. And um, I think... I I might make it a nooner. Oh, boy. (laughs) I don't even want to know what that means. I think we'll see you all next time on Days of Lincium. It's a beautiful day in the game world. A beautiful day for my gamers. Would you be one? Could you be one? Sound of that thunder, but don't despair. This howling is bringing great brothers. Would you be one? Could you be one? If the neighbors serve your time and pay the words for a month you can sign up and have the hearts to you So let's make the most of another Sunday Brew up some coffee and play it my way Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my gamers? Won't you be? Won't you please? Please won't you be my gamers?